Mm -hmm. I'm with Maxim, one of our programmers, and he's going to talk about a feature going to be available in the, the release 0.4. So uh, I'm working currently on upgrading the game modes. Uh, one of the problems we had with the game modes is that they worked pretty well, but the problem is that they, they, they were hard to improve on, they were hard to modify, the, they, they took a long time to iterate. Um, and that's a problem because our game is a game where you want a variety, and if we can't provide variety quickly, uh, that's not, not good. So uh, we decided to uh, improve the system by ad by making it work with a scripting language okay. instead of working directly in the code. So what that means is that in, uh, like if you picture a, uh, a machine, instead of having to go every time in the machine, pull every cable uh, on and off and put new things in, we just have to go at the front of it. There's buttons and levers. We press this button, up this lever, mm -hmm. and then the machine does what we want to do. Uh, so it's it's we're do, uh, we're going to use Lua, which is a popular scripting language, and it's going to make not only our job easier and faster because the actual code will be all behind the scene yeah. and we never touch it. Okay. Almost just me, and uh, everyone else just change lines in the script and it's com completely changed. But is it only a tool for us or it will be available for the community? It also? will be available for everyone. Uh, one thing we really wanted to do is that uh, to use the same tool we would give to the community. So we uh, use to make our game modes the exact same thing that anyone could open the game up, uh, open the proper file mm -hmm. and modify them and it's the same thing. So it won't be a half done thing on the side it's exactly the what same we thing use. Okay. so we hope to provide a very strong platform for for people who wanted to make custom game modes and eventually more uh, custom stuff to be uh, easy because it's the same thing we use okay right now it's available uh, on the bleeding edge branch mm -hmm. you would know uh, if you notice the new survival mode uh, uses it already but a very basic version of it and we're still adding stuff so um, after release, maybe a few weeks after release, uh, on the forum we'll have a thread where we uh, will invite modders and people okay. who like uh, would like to participate to uh, actually uh, help me figure out ideas what they would like to see in the API uh, that I uh, am working on, so that we can collaborate to make something really good out of it. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, are, we, are they going to be able to learn how to code? Yes, in the documentation will be released. Uh, sensibly at the same time okay and it will be at that time very bare bone but that's because I, I want to build it with just a small question does it mean that people can add new kind of Rictrons or it's only what's pr currently in the games it uh, in the game at the time of release it will be mostly modifying behavior that are already in the game okay like waves of certain survival stuff like that yes you'll be able to do how do you want to make waves you could spawn things you could uh, uh, it will be already pretty powerful, even if it's pretty bare bone. But it's planned to be able to add new stuff. The the only problem is that we still have to work the adding new stuff mm -hmm. part of the engine, but the modifying uh, behaviors and everything will be that will be there. Yeah. Okay, thanks. thanks.